Magandang araw muli sa lahat ng ating mga tagapakinig. Sa puntong ito ay dadako naman tayo sa determining the capacity of a highway. Mayroong dalawang approach para sa pagdetermine ng capacity ng highway. Ang una ay ang tinatawag nating level of service approach. Nakapaloob dito ang mga pananaw ng isang road user. Ang kalidad ng serbisyo na binibigay ng isang highway sa kasalukuyang tumaraan ang mga sasakyan dito. Ay kalawa naman ay ang pag pagunawa ng mga kapasidad ng mga daan. Tumungo naman tayo sa level of service approach. Ito ay isang qualitative approach o qualitative way ng mga operational conditions for traffic from point view or viewpoint ng mga road user. Nakikita dito ang level of congestion sa isang highway sa pamagitan ng travel time at travel speed. Mayroong anim na level ng mga service. Simula sa service A kung saan ito ay pinaka the best at ang traffic flow at may traffic flow at ang service F na may pinaka worst at almost zero ang traffic flow. Itong mga operating condition na ito ay maaaring i-express graphically with reference to the basic speed flow relationship in figure 0.3. Mapapansin sa graph na kapag ito ay service A, ang, ang speed ay malapit sa, it, sa kanyang maximum value. Ito ay restricted lamang sa, geomet sa geometry ng road at ito'y dumadaloy ng low relative to the capacity of the highway given small number of vehicles present. Ibig sabihin, sa service A, sobrang luwag ng traffic na nire-reach na ng mga vehicles o kanyang, kanilang mga top speed. At wala masyadong mga vehicles na kanyang nakasama dito. At sa level of service D naman, ang flow ay maximized with a speed approximately 50% of its maximum vol value. Tapos, pagdating naman sa level of service F, ay ang breakdown condition which both speeds flow levels tend towards zero. So, makikita natin sa graph na sa uh, service E at service F, nasa kanila yung pinakang maximum flow capacity. At sa service F, doon makikita yung, yung speed ay na-reach na sa zero. In order to determine the road's level of service, a comprehension of relationship between early volume, peak, or factor, and service flow is vital. So, meron tayong ginagamit na way para ma-determine natin ang level of service ng isang, o ng isang instance ng highway. So, meron tayong hourly volume, which is V, the highest early hour volume within 24 hour period or peak hour, and peak hour factor, the ratio of early volume to its peak 15 minute flow. Enlarged to an early volume. So, yun makikita natin na may formula tayo na PHF o peak hour factor is equal to the early volume multiplied by 4 so ang service flow daw ay ang peak 15 minute flow enlarged to an early value ibig sabihin ang magiging service flow natin is equal to B15 times 4 lumako naman tayo sa maximum service flow rates for multi-lane highways Yun. The Highway Capacity Manual generates maximum flow values obtainable on a multi-lane highway given a certain speed limit and prevailing level of service. The values assume that ideal conditions exist. All carriageway are standard within 3.65 meter. There are no obstruction within 3.65 meter of their edge. There are no heavy goods vehicles, buses, or recreational vehicles on the road. The driver population consists of regular weekday drivers and road is divided by a physical barrier and rural base. 
So, meron tayong formula na sur maximum service flow is equal to C times V over C I times N. Where CJ is equal to capacity of standard highway lane for a given J given design speed na J. So, yung B of C naman ay yun yung value na magkakapag-determine ng ating level of service at ang N ay number of lane in each direction. So, dito sa table na to, table 4.1, ay ang mga values ng C, F for different design. Yun. So, kapag may design speed siya na 70, ang kanyang CF ay 2060, 2050, 1900. Sa kabilang banda, ay ang meron tayong mga values ng level of service depende sa ating design speed. So, kapag level of service A, meron siyang at design speed na 70, meron siyang 0.36. At pag siya, siya naman ay uh, level of service D, na may design speed na 50, siya, ang value ng level of service ay 0.76. So, dumako naman tayo sa example 4.2. A rural divided four-lane highway has a peak or volume V in one direction of 1,850 vehicles per hour. Ideal conditions apply. Therefore, there are no heavy goods, vehicles, buses, or recreational vehicles in the traffic. The peak R factor is 0 0.8. The design speed limit is 70 miles per hour determine the level of service being provided by the highway. So, may formula man din tayong P H F is equal to V divided by 15 times 4. Ito daw na P 15 times 4 ay ito daw yung service flow. So, magiging P H F is equal to V over SF Hanapin ngayon natin yung service flow Maging service flow is equal to V divided by VHF Ang volume natin ay Volume natin ay 1,850 vehicles per hour sa ating P HF daw ay 0.8 therefore meron tayong SF is equal to 1850 over 0.8 meron tayong 2,312.5 vehicles per hour. Base dun sa unang table, meron tayong mga uh, value ng CJ. Sa C70, meron tayong 2,000. At ang value ng N natin, ay 2 ito yung number number of lanes in each direction yan since ang formula natin para sa SF o service flow is equal to CJ times P over C I times N where ito yung level of dito na determine yung level of service na ating inahanap so V C I ay mag magiging S F over C J times N then Pwede na natin i-substitute yung SF, CJ, tsaka N. Magiging 2, 3, 1, 
2.5 over 2,000 times 2. Magkakaroon tayo ng value na 0.578125 or 0.58 Ito na yung value natin ng B over C I, which is ito yung So magkakaroon tayo ng value na 0.58 sa level of service ng B ay siya ay 0.54 so lang pa siya sa 0.54 kaya siya ay level of service C next is the formula for non-ideal conditions ito ay magiging Service flow is equal to CJ times B over C times N times FWH times HV times FP times FE. So, ano naman itong mga FW, F, HW? Ito ay mga correction para sa ating uh, computation. So, ang FW is equal is I correction for non-ideal lane width. Ibig sabihin, siya ay sa correction sa mga lapad ng mga kalsada. Ang FHW naman ay correction for heavy vehicles. Ang FP ay correction for driver's population. At lastly, ang FE ay correction for highway environment. Highway vehicles such as trucks, bus, buses, and recreational vehicles have a negative effect on the capacity of highway due to their physical size together with the relatively slow acceleration and braking. Resulting reduction in capacity, termed the FHB correction, is estimated on the basis of the amount of road space taken up by each of these vehicle types relative to that taken up by a private car combined with the percentage of such vehicles in the traffic stream in question. So, ayun, sa table 4.3, makikita natin ang mga correction factors for non-ideal lane widths and clearances from obstructions in multi-lane highways. So, makikita natin na kapag Ang distance na obstruction from travel edge ay 1.83 meters or greater at siya ay may 2.75 meter na lane width, siya ay may 0.81 na correction factor or adjustment factor. The passenger car equivalent or PCE or number of equivalent private cars that would occupy the same quantity of road space for each of the above types of heavy vehicle is primarily dependent on the terrain of the highway. With steep gradients magnifying the performance constraints of heavy vehicles, the PCE for trucks ET, buses EB, and recreational buses ER are defined for three different classes of terrain. I, ito ay level terrain. This is categorized as the gradients of the horizontal and vertical alignments that allow heavy vehicles to maintain the same speeds as private cars. Ibig sabihin, itong level terrain ay pwede siyang magkaroon ng, ang mga sasakyan dito ay pwede magkaroon ng same speeds. Tapos sa rolling terrain naman, ang gradients or horizontal alignments that result in the speed of heavy vehicle in question being lowered the value substantially below of those private car. Ibig sabihin, mas mabagal na ngayon dito yung mga heavy vehicle. Hindi siya nag operate sa maximum speed. Yan. So, sa mountainous terrain naman, ang gradients na ito or horizontal alignments, ito ay nagre-result ng mga heavy vehicles 
operating at its maximum speed. So yun, stable, 4.4 ay ang mga value ng correction factor for trucks, buses, and RVs. So, sa mountainous ng buses ay ito ay 5.0 at uh, sa RV naman ay 1.6. So, makiki mapapansin ninyo na ang, ang value ng correction factor ay sa isang type ng sasakyan ay lumalaki kapag nagiging mountainous siya. So, sa level 1.7, 4.0, 8.0. So, mapapansin natin na parang nagkakaroon ng malaking correction factor or malaki yung nagiging error. Where the road gradient is greater than 3% over a distance of 1.5 mile or less than 3% but over 2% over a distance greater than 1 mile, these values are no longer valid and more detailed tables are presented in the highway capacity manual. Having obtained the necessary PC evaluation, the overall correction factor can be estimated once the percentages of the three vehicle types presented along the section of the road in question has been arrived at. So, kukunin natin muna yung mga percentage ng ating mga ina-compute. So, kanina, meron tayong truck, buses, tsaka RV. Kinuha natin yung kanilang mga correction factor. So, kailangan muna natin makuha yung mga percentage nila. So, PT ay ang percentage ng truck, PB, percentage ng buses, at ang PR naman ay percentage of recreational vehicles in traffic stream. So, given these values, the correction factor in highway volume or heavy vehicles can be derived as follows. FHB is equal to 1 over 1 plus quantity percentage ng truck multiplied by the correction factor na truck minus 1 plus percentage ng bus times more correction factor ng bus minus 1 at percentage ng RB times percent correction factor ng RB minus 1 close quantity. Ito naman ngayon yung mga values ng FE given in a highway capacity manual. So, ito yung correction ng environment ng vehicle. So, table 4.5, correction factors of for driver population, ito yung FP. So, kapag siya ay regular weekday commuter, siya ay may correction factor ng 1.0 at sa other classes of drivers ay 0.9 to 0.5 ang correction factor. So, sa uh, FE, Sa table 4.6, a correction factor for highway environment ay kapag siya rural divided, siya 1.0 at urban or suburban undivided naman ay 0 0.80. Example 4.3, a suburban undivided 4-lane highway on rolling terrain has a peak R volume B in one direction of 1,500 vehicles per hour. With the peak R factor estimated at 0.85, all lanes are 3.05 meter wide. There are no obstruction within 1.83 meters of the curve. The percentage of the various heavy vehicles are yan, PT is equals to 12%. PB is equal to 6% or 0.06. PR is equal to 0.02 2%. Determine the level of service of the section of highway. <coughs> so, sa problem pa lang, ma ah, makikita natin yung mga, ano, mga keyword dun sa, ano, kung alin yung, ano natin, mga given. So, sabi dun, siya ay suburban undivided. Siya ay four lane highway sa rolling terrain sa rolling yan, sa rolling terrain tapos, mapapansin din natin na meron siyang uh, 
Tris. Meron siyang 3.05 meter wide at wala siyang obstruction within 1.83 meter. Yun. At so, ano ibig sabihin nun? So, magagamit natin yung mga keywords na yan. Sa pag-determine ng level of service. Yun. So, meron man din tayong formula na SF is equal to V over PHF. Where in B, sabi doon ay 1,500. Ang PHF naman natin ay equal sa 0.85. So, magkakaroon tayo ng value na 1,764.71 vehicles per hour. Yun. So next naman, na determine naman natin yung mga ating correction. So ang ating value ng C ay isik sa design speed na 60 ay 2000. And ang ating num ang number of lanes in each direction natin ay 2. So yung F W ay equal sa 0.91 so siya ay correction factors for non-ideal lane widths and clearances for obstruction so makikita natin siya sa table 4.3 then i-compute naman natin kung ano yung FHV which is correction sa highway o heavy vehicle so titingnan naman natin na given na PT is equal to 0.12, PB is equal to 0.06, at PR is equal to 0.02. Then, dito natin makikita na yung ating mga connection per type of vehicle. So, siya ay nasa rolling terrain. So, titingnan natin ngayon siya sa table 4.4, wherein ang value ng ET is equal to 4.0, ang value ng EB is equal to 3.0 at ER is equal to 3.0. So, sa mga remaining correction, ang value ng FP or correction ng population ng driver ay 1.0. Makikita natin to sa table 4.5. And FE or correction ng suburban undivided or sa environment ay 0.80. So, isa-substitute na lang natin sa sa formula then makakakuha tayo ng sagot na 0.66 yun yung ating FHP then ngayon since ang formula natin para makuha ang F or service, fac service factor is equal to CJ times B over C times N times FW times H FHP times FP times Fe, pwede na natin i-substitute or i-derive natin yung formula para makuha natin yung equivalent ng Vc. So, i-substitute na natin ang ating mga given, then makakuha tayo ng value na 0.92. Wherein, pag tinignan natin ito sa table 4.2, makikita natin na ito ay nag-ooperate sa level of service ng E. Next ay, maximum service flow rates for two-lane highways. So, kanina ay, kanina ay four lane. Ngayon ay two-lane two lane na lang, which is ang magiging number of N natin ngayon ay magiging one na lang. Kasi in each direction, merong one na lane. Magkakaroon tayo ng formula na SF of service flow divided by 2,800 times V over C. Yung 2,800 is under ideal condition. May capacity daw ang two-lane highway na 2,800 passenger car units 
per hour. If one adjusts this value by ratio flow to capacity consistent within the desired level of service, the following formula of for service flow is obtained. So yun yung makikita nating makikita nating formula. So ito na yung mga ideal conditions. Passing is permissible through 100% of the section of highway in question. Lane widths are at least 12 feet. Clearance on hard shoulders at least 6 feet. Design speed of at least 60 miles per hour. The traffic system entirely composed of private cars. The flow in the both direction exactly evenly balanced or 50-50. Level terrain, no obstructions to flow caused by vehicle turning movements. Traffic signalization, etc. For ideal conditions obtained, the service flow is obtained. Using the ratios of flow capacity, flow to capacity associated with the required level of service as given in Table 4.7. When conditions are non ideal, the capacity of the highway reduces from 2,800 based on the following equation. SF or service flow divided by 2,000 times VC times FD times FW times FHP. So, ito na yung mag-determine ng ating level of service. Bukod yung sa 4-lane highway. Bukod yun sa ating 2-lane highway ngayon. So, kapag ang ratio ng kapag ang ratio ay nag sa 0.15 siya ay level of service A. Kapag ang average speed ay less than 45 siya ay level of service F. Itong mga correction factors na ito ay defined in previous section except for FD which takes account for any unequal distribution traffic. So, ito yung mga correction factor ngayon sa direct directional split on a two-lane highway. So, kapag ang distributional split ay nag ng 50-50, ang correction factor ay 1.0. At kapag naman, ito nag sa 100 over 0, siya nag ang correction factor ay 0 0.71. So, decreasing yung ating uh, correction factor kapag palaki ng palaki yung ating numerator sa distributional split. So, iba naman, iba naman ang pag-compute ng correction factor para sa non-ideal lane widths. So, dito makikita natin na kapag siya ay 1.83 or greater ang clearance, at siya nag under 3.65 lanes or 12 feet. Siya ay sa loss level of service E ay siya 1.0. At kapag naman siya ay 0.61 sa clearance under 2.75 meter lanes from level of service A to D, siya ay merong 0.57 ang correction. So, dito makikita natin yung uh, correction or passenger car equivalence of different classes. So, ito na yung mayiging uh, correction ng kanilang mga, yung mga type ng vehicle. Pag sa truck na, sa truck, makikita natin na pag ang level of service ay D or E at siya ay ang mountainous or type of terrain, ang correction value niya ay 12. Kapag naman recreational or mga RVs, under rolling terrain and siya ay nag fall under the level of service B or C siya, ang value ng correction niya ay 3.9 so iba, iba iba na yung ating pag determine ng kanilang mga correction De depende sa lane ng highway sa 4.11 or table 4.11 May kita natin ang level of service values for two lane highways for different percentage no passing zone ay ang following. So kapag level of service niya ay uh, 
level of service A siya ay greater than or equal to 58 ang average speed at kapag siya ay level terrain and 100% passing siya ay 0.04 kapag naman siya ay level of service D with an average speed of equal or greater than 50 and siya ay nasa mountainous terrain at 40% passing ay siya ay 0.45 ang kanyang uh, ratio BC ratio example 4.4 a two lane highway has a lane width of 9 feet 2.75 meter with 6 feet 1.83 meter clear hard shoulders there are no passing zones along 40% of its length the directional split is 70 to 30 in favor of the peak direction <coughs> The percentage of the various heavy vehicles are PT is equal to 10%, PV is equal to 4%, and PR is equal to 2%. The terrain is rolling. Calculate the service flow of the highway when it is running at full capacity. So pag sinabi natin full capacity or max capacity, siya ay nag sa level of service ng E. So paano natin maanap yun? Since ang road natin ay operate